cookie recipe, you will need six eggs, one cup sugar, one cup melted uh, shortening, not vegetable, just shortening. Vegetable will make it taste funny. You'll need four cups flour, three tablespoons of lemon extract, or if you like anise, you can put anise in it. I grew up with anise and lemon, and I love both equally. But today, for the kids, they like the lemon better, so I'm going with lemon. And then you will need two tablespoons of baking powder and a pinch of salt. So I have my Bosch here ready to go. So I'm gonna crack my eggs. I mixed the eggs, the sugar, the shortening, and the extract all together. It smells insanely good. I'm going to add the baking powder. And then I'm going to start stirring and adding the flour in there. I'm going to give it my pinch of salt right now. Yeah, it's not bad. It's a little sticky, but pretty much to where I like it. Oh, I'm just gonna maybe add just a little bit more flour. Perfect. Awesome. Now, I'm gonna show you how to make the cookie. I'm gonna show you my mom's method, which I don't do because I think it's just too time consuming, and then my method. As you see, I am just rolling my dough into balls, probably like a tablespoon. Um, this is how I do it, it's just faster, because I always make a ton of these during the Christmas season, and uh, I just it's just faster for me this way. But I'm gonna show you how my mom does it. Um, it's just tradition, she ties them in like these bows. And I'm gonna show you a picture. She does them like this. I just make them fast like this. We do a cookie swap every other year and I'll show you what I'm gonna be mailing these in. And we just started a tradition with this maybe five, six years ago. We give each other the, the cookies um, in this beautiful box and I'll show you that later. Um, with the frosting, I just, I don't put the anise with the frosting if it has anise in the dough because that is just so overpowering. I'm gonna stick them in an oven for 400 degrees for about seven minutes. I'm gonna check them like at five minutes. I'm gonna look at the bottoms. I wanna see how the bottoms are cooking. If they're getting too dark, they're done. And one batch can get me around 60 cookies. It just depends how big I make the balls. I checked them at five and they needed more time. And two, it could be this cooking tray. This is perfect. See that goldeny? That's perfect. Here is the first batch. Oh, they smell so good. Seriously, your house will smell so good. And once these cool down, then we'll do the frosting. Okay, for the frosting, you're gonna need some powdered sugar. And I don't measure this because it's really off by sight. I'm gonna add just a capful of the lemon extract. And then some milk, just a little. I don't want the icing too thin. I'm just gonna mix and see what I get. I've made this before where the icing was way too thin and it was way too runny for the cookie. So you wanna have your sprinkles. My mom does the traditional confetti sprinkles, but I like to get festive with um, the holidays. Frost them, then stick them on here so anything that droops We'll just droop onto the paper towel and I can pick it up and throw it away. Now this is a little bit of frosting, but this is what I'm gonna show you for right now. And then I'll go back and frost them all. I dip them like this, let them drip a little, and stick them on the sheet. And then I hurry and hit them with the sprinkles because this will harden quickly. My kids were eating these cookies yesterday without the frosting on them. 
that's how good they are. So here I have the cookies on the cookie sheet. They're just sprinkled. So now I'm just gonna let them sit and harden before I pack them up. Okay, I have the box ready for my mom. I have some tissue paper and some paper towels. Yeah, they're, they love these. Just a fun tradition we do. Cause we, my mom and I both love the box. She gave me the box. Mm, she got the box from a gift from somebody like at a work party or something like that. And she loved it so much, she mailed the cookies out to me and I was like, mom, this is a great box. She's like, oh, I love it so much. I'm like, well, why don't we share it? And uh, so every year we, we ship cookies out to each other. So every other year we have the box and we get to enjoy the box at Christmas. Okay, so here's their box. It's not all the way full, but I have to make a ton of cookies this year. So voila, I'm gonna put another paper towel over it just so it doesn't get stuck on the tissue paper. Put the tissue paper over. So here's the box. It's a beautiful velvet box. Um, and I take really good care of it because I, I know how much my mom loves it. Yeah, those are the Italian Christmas cookies. Uh, give them a shot, let me know if you like them. So yeah, Merry Christmas everybody, bye.